I lived through the HPC um, transitions for the last 25 years, going from traditional uh, Cray machines uh, to massively parallel machines that we may call today HPC clusters, to a level of standardization in two uh, CPU nodes from Intel running Linux. What I believe is happening now is cloud is emerging as the next disruption for HPC. Cloud has had a very big uh, growth outside HPC um, to the point that Intel is today selling more processors to the cloud than on-premises. Customers uh, using cloud are getting many benefits. In particular in HPC, when you buy a system, you have to decide what system size are you going to buy to handle your workload. The workload in HPC typically has peaks and valleys, so there's moments that you need to run a big simulation and there's moments you don't. So the big question uh, a person buying a system on premises will have to be how big is, of a system do I buy? If I buy a system to be able to handle all the peaks of the workload, I'll buy a very large system and will be very underutilized. On the other hand, if I buy a much smaller system such that it's fully utilized, that most jobs will have to wait in the queue before they run. Imagine you get to a bank and there's only three attendants, three tellers. Um, so if there's 20 people, the three tellers will be fully utilized, but 17 will be waiting in line. That's what happens with a fixed HPC system um, on premises. Imagine now that as people arrive to the bank, you have as many tellers as people who arrive. You're going to have an immediate service. The tellers appear, you just go to the next one, and then you have no wait. With HPC in the cloud, Imagine that you have the ability to have as many processors as you need to match the needs of the workload. What that means is if you have to run a big simulation, you may need thousands of CPUs for the next few hours. You can have them in the cloud. Then you don't need any processors. Well, then you return them and you pay for usage. So the benefits of cloud is cloud matches uh, the needs of the user in terms of how many CPUs you need to support your workload, matching the peaks and valleys and just paying for the peaks and valleys. The interesting result is if you add all the money you spend in a month to match your peaks and valleys for a typical workload, you spend less money using the cloud than you would have spent on the depreciation of a system in-house. Our view is that the best path is to select a small number of projects and move them to the cloud. That way you're going to be able to start experiences, the use of the rescale portal, submitting jobs to the cloud, and as you gain advantage of the benefits of cloud, you're going to be able to learn what are the things you need to change internally in your company to accommodate use of the cloud, at the same time that you may want to learn about customizations you'd like to have from rescale to take advantage of cloud in your organization. As time evolves, you're going to be able to move more and more projects to the cloud and you're going to be ready to transition as much as makes sense for you. I had a role in innovation and I learned uh, that the future is here now and a few people are living it. Some of our customers at Rescale are pushing the envelope, are making the future happen and it's interesting to be part of that future. I joined Rescale after 25 years in the industry. I'm very happy to be here and I believe Rescale is HPC in the cloud.